martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artist. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get there, his back immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. All right, here he is for my money, Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Team. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Whiffs on the right hand. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punch to the Nice job of hiding that head kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. And that left hook landed on the button. Big body keep landing. Beautifully timed and place kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there, now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice punch by Joy. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. There's no tell on that leg kick. Joy gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. I mean, over and over, he's taking these strikes to the head. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, and he lands hit another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily win. He is going after that overhand right. Oh, big 
punch land. Gedalia's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Wow, actually got the takedown. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Fighters back to their feet here. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Effective punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Straight right hand now just misses. Good right hand. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Final seconds here of round one. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Just misses with the straight right. Stop, stop, stop. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. over the top. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Gedalia. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Gedalia. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Single collar tie now. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Vidalia's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Beautiful kick. Got the single collar tie. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent's midsection. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though, you see. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. 
big kick land. Just misses with the jab. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice. Big body kick. Nice punch there. And they separate. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. It's such a fast leg kick. It looked like it did stun him a little bit. What a fantastic strike. That is it! Unbelievable! Oh my goodness, what a fight. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to...